With the death of General Starr, President Davro appoints a new commander, von Lutlingen, for 1st Brigade. At the same time, 4th Brigade under Rochero is ordered to make the arduous march back to Asadero. De Bracy advances on the city, arriving in time to observe the newly constructed defences and the arrival of 4th Brigade. Glupp orders a frontal assault, but De Bracy decides to hold and entrench. In Asadero itself there is a flurry of activity, but Davro calls on the popular mice to remain calm. The city is in no danger if everyone does their duty. Indeed, Davro is focused on his own duty. The election has been held and Marion Santos has been elected president and sworn in on schedule, indeed, just in time, because Davro dies the same day. There is little time for mourning. Santos must lead the nation. And that leadership involves an immediate clash of personalities. Rochero and von Lutlingen cannot get along or agree on anything. When Santos appoints von Lutlingen as the senior commander, Rochero resigns in disgust. Santos shrugs and appoints a previous electoral rival to command the newly formed 5th Brigade. Bonaventura, Emil Malso, Zapota, Nien. Von Leutlingen and Zapota march out against De Bracy, who has been building a formidable defence line behind a creek. Zapota is dispatched to the flank to get behind the enemy lines. It takes some days of marching cross country, but Zapota reports his brigade has turned the enemy flank and is ready to attack. De Bracy determines that he cannot remain in place, outnumbered and outflanked. Instead, he decides to attack, send his troops forward to break 1st Brigade before 5th can arrive. De Bracy advances with all his available infantry. The guns remain in place on the works. Von Lutlingen forms up his troops. He has two batteries of artillery and his infantry outnumber the Gluppians. 1st Brigade has been combined with the old 4th Brigade and reinforced with new recruits. The Loyalist advance immediately comes under artillery fire, and a sizable portion of the troops go shaken and fall back. The rest continue forward and are met by the advancing regiments of von Leutlingen. There is a sharp exchange of volleys, but the Gluppians are outnumbered and outgunned. The panic regiment on the left reforms but is forced back again by artillery fire. The centre and right regiments take serious casualties before being pushed back in disorder and confusion. And that, as they say, is pretty much that. The Gluppian troops are simply too raw to advance across open ground in the teeth of determined artillery and musket fire. The troops panic and rout, carrying their commander with them. The brigades keep running all the way through bottom line and beyond. General von Leutlingen orders a pursuit, but his own troops are tired from the battle and 5th Brigade is too far beyond the lines to intervene. They will have a long march back to the pike. Von Lutlingen is the victor of the hour, and the free populace of Massacre rejoice in their glorious victory, 